going to be a good night when you run into some Bosses Hockey boys on the highway. Chan? Yes. Why are you excited? Where are we? Because we are at Lake Coco P8 today. Yeah, boy! And it's a Friday night and it looks like it is packed. Yo, baby! Look, Fast and Furious RX7. Whoo, yeah! Alright, let's go park. A lot of BMW guys here today, apparently. Interesting. I'm I'm trying to find Evo's fives and sixes and I'm gonna steal a rear quarter panel. It's gonna be great. What do you think? Good night, right? Very good night. So many cool cars here tonight. That uh, Itasha, what is that, an RS4? Very cool, big Wayne game. Whole bunch of Skylines here, we're gonna look at it in a little bit. I'm also super interested in the Decatora. Whole bunch of Decatora trucks today. It looks so good. Oh man, I'm pumped. Seriously, babe, isn't this epic? You can literally come here every weekend and find something different and cool. There's also a huge S2K community here today. There's two cars here and then a whole line behind them up there. Very, very sick. Damn, I don't think I've seen three clean MR2s in a line like this. That red is popping so much on my camera, it almost looks pink. So nice. This thing looks pretty sick. Someone has to love the Aristo. Love these Toyota Sentries. Toyota's only V12. Such a cool car. I don't think I'd ever buy one. I'd buy the engine in one. Definitely would never buy a car. <laughs> the full Sentry. Only ever buy the engine. This EK is pretty nice. Slammed. Loving the teal kind of blue, greeny color. What is it? Uh, I think they're called like what a, a G37 in the States. Very cool. Oh, it's left hand drive too, so it is an, expo an uh, imported one. This is my friend's 34 GTT, Paul Walker replica car. Very cool. Got another 34 GTT. And there's a 33 four door GTST. Some other cool cars up here, let's go have a look. This has definitely got some Motohoshi vibes going on here. All the flashing lights. Loving the glow in the dark sticker. On that one. It's Ferrari. He literally stuck his iPhone on the back. Did he just trust that little, uh, that little camera stand there. I'm not sure if you see it there. He really trusts that. I would not. That thing would totally drop your phone under some G's. Very cool though. This is very interesting. This is a Mark II. It's done in like a kind of Kaido Racer style. It's got like the double wings on the back. Very cool. And then he's got these kind of hood spoilers too. Very sick. I've never seen a JZX100 done in a Kaido racer style like this. I'm waiting for like a huge front lip or something to be there. Are those 34 GTR wheels? They are too, chromed out. Very cool. A lot of uh, subcultures blended here. Very sick. Yo, I just noticed he's got one of those tiny steering wheels too. Super cool. You hear that Ferrari ripping off. Jeez. So cool. <laughs> How loud are they? <laughs> oh no. Yeah, we got some trouble. <laughs> Honda boys are in town. How nice are these S2000s, babe? Nah. Yeah. How much does it like transform the car? Just some really cool aero and a wang on these things. Seriously does. 
Like I don't like the S2000 at all unless it's wide bodied like this. It looks so much better with stuff like that. Hard top, not that much of a fan of the soft top on them, but hard tops look baller. This thing is sick. The aero on this one is beautiful. Very cool. Some kind of Subaru here with a uh, nice little bit of a toucher. It's lovely. Bang dream. It's uh, bang dream, babe. I guess that's his bang dream. Bandori. <laughs> This side's a little different. Very cool. Spotted another Atasha wrapped car over here. Nice. Miku Nakano. There you go. This thing's pretty cool. The red wheels actually make the blue pop really well. For a little bit, not bad. Yeah, that's sick. Spotted this beautiful NSX. It's almost like a midnight purple. It's hard to tell in this light. Looks really OEM. Great condition. Very cool. It's like a midnight purple, right? It's not my eyes fooling me. It really is. Yeah, yeah the, the, like, the depth is. Yeah. It's a like lot light. of swell marks on it, but it's it's definitely like a midnight purple. Very cool. First time I've seen an NSX that's midnight purple. Seems to be a slammed kind of Honda night. Second one I've seen tonight. This thing's really cool. Super clean EG, sedan, slammed on what look like Honda OEM wheels. And uh, everything interior wise is like VIP grandpa lace spec. Very cool. What did you just call it? <laughs> VIP grandpa lace spec. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this Veilside RX-7 FD, otherwise known, I mean, this kit was made famous because of Fast and Furious. Very cool. This is, I think we've seen this before at Tatsumi. Um, very clean, very well built, and it's a really like spot on replica. I mean, I need to stop calling it a replica because it's literally, well, I mean, no, it is a replica because it's the same paint as the one in um, Fast and Furious. But it is a Velside RX-7 FT. Super clean, looks like he's running a Power FC controller in there. So yeah. It's crazy how much this body kit completely transforms the FT. Very cool, super wide. Absolutely love this. Like the attention to detail on the body kit, like this is the original door panel here. And then look how much wider it comes out here. Very cool body kit. I don't think there's really any other kits out there that do this kind of stuff to a car, like completely transform it to this degree. Very cool. Remember when we were at Sideways Garage in uh, Kuriyama? Yeah. And you said you like purple S13s. Yeah. What about this purple S13? No. No? no. Why? Because it's cream. It's cream? I don't like creamy colors. You don't like creamy colors? Okay, I kind of dig this. This is like a old school kind of vibe. Very clean. Nice. Man, that is actually like the cleanest brick headlights I've ever seen in an S13. Babe, pros, right now, thumb now. Peace sign, peace sign. Initial D, front page, manga, right there. <laughs> Dude, that is sick, not gonna lie. Yeah, this is like totally, I don't know if there's a turbo or NA, I don't, didn't see an intercooler or anything, but I'm assuming NA, just the way that this is styled and kind of built. Very clean, very nice. Definitely not OEM, but just, just cool, you know? I appreciate this. Then right next to the purple S13, you've got this S5. I always forget how big of a car these things actually are. Like, it's wide and it is long, like really long. For some reason in pictures and videos, they always seem to be like nowhere near as long and as wide as what they are in person to me. I don't know, maybe it's just that kind of car where like, like photography and videography wise, they just don't look that big. I don't know. Anyways, I'm digging this guy's car. Super cool, loving the big GT Wang. The Tasha's really cool. I always like it when I see 
really expensive cars with a touch of wraps here in Japan because it just proves that it doesn't matter how rich you are, you can still be a wee bit hot. Right, babe? Yes. Always weep. Weep power. <laughs> R31 GTSR. Mm. Those things sound beautiful on full song. This thing's so cool. EF Civic, no good racing, vinyls on it everywhere. This guy's pretty serious about going fast. Everything's stripped down in the rear. There's not even a passenger seat, roll cage, all of that. The rear windows have all been replaced with Lexan. It's very cool. Loving the TEs on the rear and the RPF ones on the front. Interesting. Very cool. My gosh, this is possibly the cleanest S13 I have ever seen. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> that thing's worth a lot of money. The Japanese just seem to put Workmeisters on anything and it looks good. Being fair though, Workmeisters will look pretty much good on anything in my opinion. <laughs> Even a Suzuki Jimny, I think. You know what I like most about this is the color. Yeah? The midnight blue kind of look? It's not midnight, but the navy is a nice navy color. Mm. Yeah, it is nice. Mm -hmm. How sick is this Stasia with the tri spokes? Absolutely love it. It's a blast from the past. This arrow is really cool too. Wonder who makes it. Very sick. But then over here, Takumi himself. Damn, this is clean. Hachiroku A86. Now, I don't think I've seen this one before. This is super nice. Loving the Cusco stickers, hot version stickers. This thing is very nice, super clean. Look at that. This is, I've never seen this one before. This thing is amazing. This is like, just beautiful. A few cracks in the dash, which is normal. So beautiful. Oh man. Nice 34 GCT four door with that new Mazda red color. Starting to see a lot of people paint their cars with that color and it looks really nice. This is cool. I was hoping I was gonna see the guys turn all their lights on and get ready to leave before I left. Very sick. I love the subculture so much in Japan. Very cool. Decatora trucks. The craziest trucks you'll ever see. Very, very cool. Look at this thing. How sick is that? And it's not obviously like, they, they don't just do the front cab, they do like everything. We'll get around the back of some of these and you'll just be mind blown. Seriously, so cool. This guy's turning all these lights on now. Check him out a little bit. I want to look at the artwork on this one. This thing is huge. There you go. How cool is that, right? Nowhere in the world do you see stuff like this. Oh man. What? <laughs> what is that? Who is that dude? Kind of looks like Nicolas Cage. Super cool. They use their truck as a huge canvas and just do whatever the hell they want. I love it. This kind of cracks me up. I don't know who this is, but he's holding cash. These lights are super cool too. They have some kind of mechanism built inside the wheel and there's like a wire that runs out and it still like lights up even though the wheel's spinning. Very cool. When I first saw them I was like man they have to be battery operated but I found them in an up garage once 
and it literally has this like ring that goes in there with like a little tab and yeah it's literally 12 volts or 24 volts because the trucks is going directly to those lights to like a, a spinning kind of like contact and tab I, I honestly think maybe maybe batteries would be easier but I guess these guys are doing massive long trips and they just stay on forever how cool is this this guy's got his lights on seriously so freaking cool I love it like even down here in the bumper I don't even know if you can call that a bumper, but... So cool. I think we saw this Camino last time we were out here. From a distance, I always see it and think it's like a Datsun Sunny just because of the front. But next to it, super clean TA Celica. Beautiful. Damn, man. Very cool. Hopefully one day we can turn this back into this yeah that'd be cool this is seriously the sickest 32 gtr i have seen here at daikoku pa everything about it screams me very nice it's got a nice atasha wrap on here it's link powered look at this thing guys fully caged out specced up oh man so cool that's sick. Absolutely love it. I'm gonna to talk to the guy. TEs as well. Very, very, very cool. I just spoke to the owner and uh, he was telling me about his car. So link powered, Nismo intake manifold. Turbo, what is turbo? GT2860R2, GCG. Ah, GCG. 2860R2. Ah, so 2860R2. So, so I think those are dash fives, maybe dash nines. I need to double check, but very, very cool. I love this. It's a GTR with no uh, maps, airflow sensors. Such a nice, clean build. You don't see many of this here in Japan using new technology like this. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, he said that the power level is around 600. So super cool. This is everything that I would build it for a 32 GTR. Very cool. Ooh, beautiful, Ken Mary, very nice, Ooh. look at this fair lady Z, beautiful, another Ken Mary, damn, that's so clean, there's another Ken Mary there, very cool. So nice. 32 GTR. Oh my gosh. C33 Laurel, that's cool. But what I'm really pumped on is the fact that there is the ultimate rarest car here in Japan. A Safaro. This one didn't end up in New Zealand wrapped around a telegraph pole. So cool. I, these are so rare to find here in Japan now. Literally every single one of them was snapped up by some New Zealand bro. And he literally... Well, I mean, there are some still left in New Zealand. Let's, let's be real. There are some, but the majority of them all got wrapped around telegraph poles. Let's be real. Factory OEM manual too. Sick! Stop looking at this, New Zealanders. This is not for sale. Don't even think you can get your hands on it. So I don't know my classic cars too well. But this thing is very, very cool. I don't know what it is just by looking at it. I've never seen one of these in Japan before. It looks heavy, man. This thing weigh like 5,000 pounds. It's been shaved too. No, no handles or anything on it. Very, very cool. Never seen this in Japan before. So cool. Please educate me in the comment section what this is. I probably should know, but it's obviously been uh, imported from the States. I just think it's cool because it's like heavily modified and it's completely shaved. Very cool. What do you think, babe? You like this? Yeah. I just thought, like, it almost feels like it's a cushion. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
it's almost got that uh, that kind of like uh, I don't I can't remember what it was called, but in Florida they have cars that are leaned up like that, that Cali lean I think they call it. I don't know. Very cool. Oh my gosh, guys! I just found the coolest looking RX-7. This is sick. Obviously, twin turbo is gone. Nice TO4Z HKS turbo. It looks like the Kai edition too. Very cool. I love that he's chromed everything. It looks so clean and sick in there. Very nice. <laughs> oh man, that's so cool. And then very nice 33 GTR on bronze TEs. I love that. This is clean. Very cool. Pretty epic night. This is what you expect to see for Obon. Everyone's on holidays, chilling, coming out to hang out. Everything is packed. The police are leaving us alone. Once again, most likely because it's Obon and they don't mind. They gotta let people have fun once every now and then. And I think that's why everything's so chill tonight. It is nearly 10 p.m. and things are still pumping. If I didn't have a bunch of stuff to get done when I get home, I'd probably chill here till, you know, 2, 3, 4 a.m. easily because this is literally what it's going to be like throughout the night. It's going to be very cool. Ooh, nice 34 GTT four-door. That thing's sick. All right. Did you have fun, babe? Yeah. What was your favorite car? NSX. NSX, the midnight pepper one? That thing was pretty cool. It's growing in... On you, not in you, babe. It's not, yeah, it's growing on you. Oh my gosh. How do you mess that up? So. I don't know. <laughs> oh man, that'd be so cool though if like, you know, you had NSX babies. We could sell them for a lot of money. <laughs> I'm not like you, probably. I'm not gonna like Oh, the cringe level. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you smash that like button, write us a comment, and most importantly, tell me in the comment section what was your favorite car here tonight. Subscribe, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Peace out. Jamata. Bye-bye.